Welcome to Trade the NBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 18th of March. A shout out to Isabella and a happy birthday. Big 17. It's quite a weekend of excitement. Uh, still a little bit more to go. Uh, she's got a wonderful special event at Louis Vuitton. They're throwing her a little birthday party at their brand new uh, facility that they just opened here in Florence. Uh, it's a major remodel they did that took a year plus, so she's very excited about that. But the market continues to be excited for her all throughout all of March so far. Uh, well, we were at the highs. We had our little brief retrace to that 735 algo level, which we popped off of, broke above that uh, 2762, and then it was all the way back to the 28, we had the 2819, and then the most recent one is, uh, well, we'll see it on the intraday chart uh, near here, the uh, current levels. Uh, from a NASDAQ standpoint, like I said, again, we just have cyan under red, this pretty straightforward uh, rising shakeout. Not a whole lot with uh, those kind of readings to worry about. Um, we will look for a turnaround in steel, though, because uh, it's continued to fade. So this has just been long-term and uh, mid-term buyers just keeping this afloat. We do have some positive extremes, though, that when we do get to softness, we know where the uh, retrace will go. Uh, the bolstering of the uh, euro uh, with, obviously, no Brit exit. Uh, what a shock there. Um, kind of like uh, really a blow to any ideal of a democratic uh, system when uh, they can just pretty much overrule what the people's decision was. And that rising euro certainly is uh, definitely a bonus for uh, the EU uh, as well as for uh, U.S. exports and that. So um, that's also good for the market. This is keeping gold sort of in a uh, flat zone here because there's still enough inflation and it's okay enough that it will just keep uh, adding just a little bit so there's an intrinsic uh, backstop into gold right there uh, from an intraday standpoint so we were talking about here's the 2819 that we were bouncing back and forth on that algo we were slightly below it before but like I said above it you can be long um, now in this particular case uh, every time we got right above it we ended up with these uh, short snakes that still had red uh, quite a bit above zero, but then as soon as uh, red started to take a move down, it certainly became an opportunity. Didn't give a whole lot below the 50%. This was a fairly decent one that uh, came a little bit below, uh, but then supported right along it, bounced right above it, and so it was just this little building event that was taking place, and then ended up with all of these um, buy configurations with the X's and that at this uh, higher level of a... P2 plus kind of construct here as we kept making higher and higher uh, red DOC at above the 7.5 effect. And then we check out went positive right at that 50. And boom, that led to the move all the way uh, to the other algo at the 2830 and then slightly above. And of course, um, got a little bit heavy at that particular point. And we started to see lower uh, successive highs from the DOC red until finally DOC spread right at the 76%, which is not surprising that it would take place there. Of course, with the steel reset, you had to be concerned coming back right through here uh, with the crossover. It did make a little bit of a pop, but uh, really wasn't able to hold that. Uh, and really where you're looking for that one was just the fact that the uh, midterm buyers here in the green weren't even able to cross over red uh, during that crop, that uh, Push up. Usually you would see uh, green crossing red at that particular point at the same time you get sign, and then that's the one you would expect would be moving more. Uh, this didn't give any crossover until way late at that point. Uh, steel buyers, uh, short term buyers had already uh, used everything, and so they were below the 2830 there. And that led to, uh, towards the end of the day, that little dip, uh, which Got bought back up uh, towards the end of the day to, and right around the algo. And all we've done in the pre market here was retest that low and uh, right back above it uh, again in uh, rising gold, as you can see right there. So, would expect that we're going to try and reach towards that uh, previous high, the 2836 range. That would be the expectation, that's what I would be looking for. Increase the size of that a little bit, make it easier to see. And uh, it was beautiful resets of the uh, orange net. So bulls still well in control of the situation. It doesn't mean that there aren't short opportunities. It's just you have to keep your expectations in check with that because until you get a rollover uh, in the bigger time frames, it's not going to happen. We look at it from the bigger standpoint. We had the 
brief break signals right there, which were still good. It took us to the ABM green and it's pretty much held up. So even the 50K is not giving any indication just yet that uh, it's done. Yes, there's plenty of positive extremes throughout this one as well. And even going back all the way over to here, uh, the 2777 range. So there's going to be plenty to um, look at when that changes, but for now, not the case. It's still looking pretty strong. So that's uh, the current state of things, and we just have to take that with what it is. Um, but pretty healthy start to a Monday. As always, though, I will, uh, with Isabella's birthday, though, I will be in and out. Uh, we have, obviously, the big event uh, that she's having her birthday at uh, Louis Vuitton, but that's going to be right around market open. Uh, so I should be in a little bit uh, after that, so you can look for me to be posting stuff there. And I'll certainly put up uh, these uh, early morning chart um, on the Skype chat. So we'll see you there. As always, trade well. We'll talk again later.